Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Bulgar Honey Lover. But right now, we're at war, of, so of course, with the Russian state. And it's October 9th, 1942. And luckily for us, Russia has decided to go to war with quite a few other people, such as the Reichspact, such as the Far Eastern Republic of Transamir. And the Copra Spirit Sphere is looking really flipping huge. Um, they even have part of Hungary with them, too. But we, of course, are trying to destroy any supply lines as they're not trying to die against the Russians over in the Far East, but you know, whatever. Bomber planes are crucial to the warfare in that they allow for the destruction of enemy supply lines effectively, yet from a remote area, meaning that, at the end of the day, will it cause more damage while losing fewer lives? At least hopefully. Let's see, investing fighters. In order to ensure aerial superiority and destruction of enemy planes, we must begin investing fighter planes, but we're doing all right. We're not doing fantastic. Ooh, Kiev has fallen. My goal is to take as much of Russia as possible in the end, and then beat up everyone else who wants Russia as well, so. <clears throat> We just want Russia for ourselves, basically. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we're struggling down here, which sucks. Over here, though, we are not struggling as much. Heck, we might even go push for an offensive here in the, the more eastern part of the front. Which is this region is... Well, it's not easy to play. It just really is not easy to play. So ten divisions. That's a lot of divisions over there for... Why? They're doing okay. I just want to cause any more issues, just because we are out of guns. Which is very, as you can tell, not good. Um, I was trying to build more supply, more military factories and whatnot, so... I would put uh, planes down there on the lowest, as we're recruiting more population, and stuff like that, so... Overall, we'll be doing a lot better, but a lot worse, too. Uh, hello? Would you like to attack? Could you actually help out there, maybe? Supply is very bad, yes, I know. Um, Tbilisi would really be for the best. Destroying enemy supply lines, further naval aircraft research by having the Navy and Air Force co uh, cooperate. We can ensure aerial superiority no matter where we are, which will rule the land and the seas. Because I don't want to advance here yet at all. Transylvania is gone. Better guns would be nice, but we're not going to actually get to that type of gun yet just because the current production ain't so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, that cough came out of nowhere. Uh, let's see, six divisions, my goodness, I saw quite a few guys. Over here, though, honestly, I want you guys to focus on the eastern front. Don't even worry about this front. Hold and go back. Oh. Go to where you, wherever you need to go. This run's going to be stationary. Really, my, the goal on this front here was just for us to quite literally take Baku for the fuel and deny the enemy fuel. That's literally the only reason why we're over here. Deny the enemy fuel. Depth charge throws are nice. It's almost 43 ish. 42. Get some of that. That'd be very nice. WC is what we want, though. That is what we must have. Oh, Ganja's not. Oh, hmm. Um, that, that's the case. Take three away. Take two away from them and fill in the lines. You should be able to beat the militia no matter what, but we'll try. <coughs> Excuse me. Invisible ink. First apartment, very nice, very nice. Still trying to put down a lot of resistance, and whatnot. At least it'd be so good for us, though. Oh, hello, nice. Yeah, the Russians still doing quite well over where they're all at. So, um, in the meantime, are you in the ocean, sir? You might be in the ocean. Uh, we'll go right there. We got plenty of political power as well. Uh, so, some events. No, we're pretty good about that. Could raise conscription some more, but I don't think we are going to do that. Ah, Tbilisi is ours. Very good. <coughs> I apologize, I was eating before this episode started, and, well, I guess I got food down the wrong hole. But one of the comments from yesterday said, uh, you should try either the police or the mob in New York City at, in this mod, of course, in Kaiser Redux. So, I think I played as New York City once or twice. It was a lot of fun. I should play them again sometime, though. But, this is what we're do currently doing. Ooh, more guns? Sure. <coughs> so, we're doing fine here for now. Um, let's see, close air support. The protection of our men from all angles, especially the skies, promotor of the war effort. We must begin to research close air support technology. Focus on, uh, destroyed construction. Destroyers are both durable and maneuverable ships that are used to defend the main vessels, convoys, and battle groups. We should look into creating more of them, U-boat operations. In order to ensure that we can effectively destroy enemy shipping routes and strike at any prepared enemy ships, we must begin the construction of U-boats and build some light cruisers. Equipped with, uh, uh, protective armor, light cruisers allow for the protection of, uh, our convoys and service destroyer command ships. We must look into investing more in these ships. New building air bases, spread reserves. <coughs> Dockyards where it's at. 
Develop the Varna Naval Base. As a mother, we place an emphasis on naval warfare and develop the Varna Naval Base. That way, we can ensure that our nation is better prepared in the face of potential naval warfare while also having the ability to house more ships. And now, everyone, we took most of the territory, actually, I think almost all the territory here. Um, that worked really well for us. But we are doing this focus, which is kind of different and unique. Restore state to Volga, Bulgaria. At last, we control enough territory to justify the recreation of the Volga, Bulgarian state. A proclamation will be made proclaiming the reestablishment of the nation, broadcasted to radios for far and wide around the world, so we have the Almighty Don host become control of a lot of areas. We get all the cores, but at the bottom of this, um, politics will change and uh, <coughs> change popular to national populism. Kajaz Ishaki becomes leader for the National Populist Party. Kazan changes its name to Bulgar. The Almighty Don host becomes a puppet of us. If you own a certain states in Russia, you may transfer them to Bul Volga, Bulgaria. You'll be able to fully integrate Volga, Bulgaria in a year, which is kind of cool. Um, the land's for Great Bulgaria, though. And which we'll have to use autocomplete for this, probably, but because we don't own all these. Because we do own Ekaterin Nador, which sucks, but. Now it's time to move on to our second target, Old, old Great Bulgaria. We shall bring it anew. We shall cross in Ukraine and we shall silence their armed opposition and proceed to preach a message and co invert the Ukrainians with record speed. So we have to go to war with them, which means we go to war with our expect, which sucks. Um, so. Which is really going to suck. Eventually, we'll list this one too. The rebirth of Kubrat. Kubrat Khan was one of the greatest Bulgars to ever live. Kubrat has found a successor to Gajaz Ishak. Ishaki has shown the world of his uh, leading capabilities. If any of you kept the continent along for this long, you can keep it alive much, much longer. Long live the Bulgar continent. Set base worth for 100%. More political power. Green incarnated Kubrat Khan. More division attack. Cavalry attack and cavalry defense. Khan Dervaz. Derzavin should be renamed to the grand designation of Khan Kubrat II. There's was a great Gubarian Khanate. Okay, so this is interesting. So all they did was get this one here. Uh, by us. Jira military mission. Solidify our hold over South Russia. Martial law. Initial stabilization. A lot of stuff. Manifesto is not bad. It's very good. New Russian Liberation Army is interesting as well. Um, so what is this? Solidify our hold. Gain cords, the ones we already conquered. Move martial law. So the fires of industry. Is this uh the Vlasov a Vlasov affair? Oh, that's interesting. Kolchakite question. Slay the dragon, reclaim the motherland. Be known as the Russian national state. Which they're not gonna own, hopefully. First down of liberated Russia. So the uh, Reclaiming our lands. Uh I'm not entirely sure. There's Siberia. Uh. Do they get the. Oh, expand the territory. Okay. So we need to own all this. The puppet of us owns. So what if. I'm not sure how this is going to work. That's our subject. But Volga, Bulgaria. Do we just give them stuff? We can't. Uh. Okay, so we're kind of screwed over this Russian Republic. Second like Velkrieg of Altai. How about this one? Military occupation is okay. Armenia, no. What Ruthenia? Latvia, Central Asia. Fate of Azerbaijan, no. Fate of Turkestan. Estonia. Well, that goes all of our political power. Um, okay, uh, that's not good. Because they do have courts on this, don't they? Vogel Bulgaria. We have a claim on all this territory. They have it as cores. They're national populace, but they can't. Uh, are they not doing a focus right now? I mean, we're not. Okay, internal restrictions. All right. Well, um, I guess we can integrate them in a year or so. What was their economy? Civilian economy. Oh God, no. Uh, expand their territory. I'm not sure this is really like set up correctly. Holy state of South Italy. What the heck is this? Um, because we don't own Penza. Penza listed twice. Yeah, they own it, so we can't give them any more territory. They already have cores on it, so. Uh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I do want to go to World Transamir as well, just for funsies. But at the same time, at this point, I'm not really sure. 
Because I know throwing all these divisions over there at the same time is probably a really bad idea. Because supplies are already very bad anyways over here. But, uh, you know, I'm willing to try whatever. Um, so, I guess I'll see you in a year and whenever we're ready to go to war with uh, the Status of Volga Bulgaria. Volga Bulgaria has literally been with us for a year now, so it's time we make the decision of the fate. Will they join the Khan or will they keep their statehood? Come to the Khan. Come to the Khan. Um, I like this one a lot. I could really use that. But we'll be... Khanate of the Bulgars will be known as a great Khanate of the Danube Bulga Bulgaria. So, do we, do we even get cores on them? That's my real question. What's the point of doing this if you don't get cores? Because I gave Russia... Because they renamed themselves the great Khanate of Danube Bulga Bulgaria. I gave them more stuff. But, also, we're World of Transamir now, too. Um, we're doing okay. They're not doing great. Uh, losses? That's quite a few losses. So, I had them run into our lines a whole bunch before we did anything, so... That's why they're not looking great. So, if we do that... We don't even get cores on them. What's the point of that? Like, seriously, what is the point? Of course, we have to use consequence here for this as well, which does suck. Um, we'll need to do consequence for that. And their birth as well. So, which sucks, but whatever. We'll finish off these guys and they'll go to war with the Rexback, maybe? Maybe not? It'll be a very grindy fair. Maybe we'll just use Consequence and just get through it. We'll see. I do want to at least beat up Transamir first, because this is more like Russia that we need. So. And let them drop. Oh, we, oh, we don't get blood up stock. Oh. Japan owns it. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> Well, we don't need all this extra political power, so for now, let's put down resistance. So, my question is, where's the capital? Khabarovsk? Oh yeah, they're not looking too good, are they? <coughs> Excuse me, and these guys are like 27 combats as well. I'll give them a crap ton of artillery as well to make sure that they're nice and strong. Beautiful. That's why couches are so high. I'm sure I'm any second now. These guys are now, yeah, 27 combat with tons of artillery on them. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of damage. Thank you. Truth be told, we don't really have the armies to take out the Reichs back. They're a massive force to be reckoned with. So. So we'll see in just a little bit. Get it demobilized, but we don't get cores on us. That's, that's, that's not cool, man. Look at all that stuff we have to now put down. That's so not cool. The Khan. Khan Gaya's Ishaki has been crowned at last. As a leader of the Bulgar Khan, he seeks to restore the Bulgars with the glory they held so long ago and we'll bring him on a permanent visit to the Volga, where another Bulgaria will rise from the grave from the previous inhabitant. Hail to thee! And I think that might be it for the focus tree. Yeah, we just finished that one, so. So, we're support, 100%. Uh, don't mind the negative 64% stability. Um, so, cool! Other than that, reincarnated Kubrat Khan. It's very nice, as we've got all these other things to deal with now, which I'm not gonna deal with because we're gonna end the episode here. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow! in another campaign. This is weird, New England. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great Bulgarian or, or Bulgar Rostov your day.